back everybody to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming in in this episode we are going to uh, work on base computer stuff because I have since found out that if we go through the base computer quest line uh, we'll get some some of the blueprints that um, we otherwise would spend salvage data on. Speaking of which, uh, if you take a look at the starship here uh, you can see that I have formed up a whole mess of salvage data. Each one of these stacks is worth 1.5 million and change. So what I'm thinking is if we can get some of the blueprints that we need from doing the base computer quests, then we go up to the anomaly and get uh, the other stuff that we need. And then whatever we have left over of these, we could potentially sell. Uh, and make ourselves some good money. What I would like to do is I'd like to be able to uh, upgrade our multi-tool because um, we're out of, basically out of slots. Uh, speaking of which, too, there's a couple other things about this. First of all, this is for a scatter blaster, which is basically the shotgun. There's no point in taking up a slot with it because we don't have one yet, but we will get one from the anomaly. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just store this for now. And the other thing that I forgot to do, and maybe some of you guys have uh, left a comment about this. I haven't seen all the comments from the previous video, uh, but I forgot to move the mining beam next to all these modules that are enhancing the, the mi mining beam. Uh, so we need to do that as well. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to have to move a couple things around here. What I want to do is let's take and move this over here. Let's move this down here. And then we'll move the mining beam there so that way it's touching all of these upgrades. All right, so we got that done. And then um, I guess the bolt caster we'll just put over there for now. And this can stay where it currently is. All right, now um, I'm trying to think what, what else I want to do here, real quick. What is this? Yeah, that's the scatter blaster thing. Okay, so we're gonna just put that in storage for now until we get ourselves a scatter blast. Oh, maybe we're not. Yeah. Oh, that's the other thing we gotta do. We're gonna have to get uh, the next storage upgrade too. Now, I've also heard that if you get a freighter, then you un basically unlock all the storage units. I'm not. I don't remember that being the case last time I played, unless that's something new, but I'm not sure. But obviously, as you can see here. Uh, we're out of room, uh, so we need to get some storage uh, stuff going on as well. I get another storage bin. So, all right. That being the case, then, um, let's see. Why don't we go ahead and, and I want to get this started on getting some of this rusted metal. we got so much rusted metal. Uh, so get this started on uh, processing that so we can start to whittle that down a little bit. And let's go into here and let's activate the base computer archives. All right, so what it wants us to do is construct a solar panel, uh, which is going to be useful uh, for us to do anyways. But a solar panel, you also want to do a battery along with the, the solar panel. So I think what we'll do is let's put these on the roof. Oh, by the way, here's something else. I wasn't using those... Um, jump jets right on the last episode so basically what you do with those is you um, you double tap on the space bar and then when he touches down again then he'll he he'll rejump if he doesn't get uh, blocked so here, let's go over this way all right so if we double tap and we got blocked again. But anyway, he'll 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 touch down and then he'll he'll launch himself again as long as you have a clear path. So anyway, I discovered that about how the jumper thingy works. Sorta. Yeah. See. Yeah. There. I I, I still think I might not be doing something 100% correct there. But anyway. Okay, so let's um, let's work on this quest here and see if we can get some of the blueprints that we need without uh, having to spend all the salvage data. And then that way we can sell some of that salvage data to make some money so we can get ourselves an upgraded multi-tool. 
Um, so yeah, let's um, let's just put that stuff up here for now. So what I'm thinking we'll do is we need metal plating, gold, and chromatic metal. Okay, let's get that stuff. Metal plating, gold, and chromatic metal. I didn't see how much we needed of that. I don't think it matters which direction you put these because they'll orient themselves to the sun. Anyway. Okay, now it wants us to search the archive. It it might it might want us to do a battery next. If it doesn't, then we'll do a battery because you really want one with the solar panels. Recovered archive encrypted. Input recovery passkey. I think this is a crap shoot. I have no idea, so let's just go with technology. Nope, that wasn't the right one. Okay, let's try this again. Um, of. Nope. Nanites. Nope. Will. This is just, it, it's 100% random because there's not, no way for me to know what it wants, you know? Uh, we. You? I'm just gonna keep doing one because what else can you do, right? Okay, I mean, damn it. How am I supposed to know which one to do? That isn't it. There we go. I did Wii once before and it didn't work that time, so whatever. Okay, automated archive recovery in progress. Data recovered 27% new data available. Search arc, uh, search construction database. Exosuit technology data extracted. Downloading plans, nice. All right, search archives. 4925X, I glance back towards the wreck of my ship, nothing more than a dot. Uh, Gazit walking this plane for hours, yet the mountains seem no closer. Gazit, I look up to the sky. Readable archive retrieval complete, beginning defragmentation of next segment. Leave. All right, what do we get? We got a Class B shield module. And I guess that's it. Okay, well... So now we have to wait, right? Automated recovery in progress. Oh. Okay, search archives. They came up from surrounded black ground, but now they're sure follow me. Should have never touched the eggs. I think they're talking about those egg things that if we break them open, the monsters come. Um, construction logs recover blueprints. Reassemble and prepare for down, uh, download. More exosuit plans, okay. Any defragmentation of the next segment. Would you, isn't that what we just got? Yeah, we got two of them. Okay. Well, we can sell these for nanites. The thing is, though, is if you crack them open, then you don't get as much as you initially got. Oh, the other thing too is, um, I've had, I've got these, um, S-class upgrades on, but we don't, we don't need to put those in there unless we're on a toxic planet or a frozen planet. Um, you know, I, I guess I'll leave them there for now, but if we need to make room for something else, we can do that, uh, with this. So, are these going to be exactly the same thing if we crack them open? Um, all right, here. Let's just go back here again. What else does it want us to do? 
Oh, now we gotta go through this again. Okay. Uh, nanites. Hey, look at that. We got it. Okay, archive recovering progress. Search archives. 4925X. The Sentinel drones patrols never seem to end. I claimed so much from the Earth. Additional data, construction logs recovered, blueprints reassembled and prepared for download. Okay. First construction database, exosuit, personal upgrade module synthesized from data scraps. Why does it keep giving me the same thing? Hmm. I must be missing something here. Let's try in. Hey, you're getting lucky. Okay, so this time I'm gonna go search construction database instead of archives. Base technology, shield lattice plans. That's still exosuit stuff, even though that's actually good though. Um, increases the base capacity of the hazard protection system. Okay. Search archives. Having great success with advanced materials, able to far more efficient synthesis, it seems I can create pathway to materials from all over the system. Okay. Beginning defragmentation of next segment. Leave. Okay, so this is good um, that we got this. And what that means then is let's store this and let's make this. So we need sodium nitrate and one antimatter. All right, let's get some sodium nitrate here. All right, and then install the shield lattice. 20% 20, 20 more on hazard protection, very nice. Okay, yeah, that, that was worth the price of admission right there. Um, we got to get some more uh, uh, technology slots unlocked on our suit, uh, too. Yeah, we have, we've got to go up and get more storage. This is ridiculous. Just don't have enough room. Uh, okay, so let's see here. I think this for now... Wait, no, no, no. What I want to do is I want to store, where did it go? This. Let's store this in our starship, So that, because if we go to a toxic planet, then we have it available. These, uh, especially since they're just class B anyway, I'm thinking maybe we just sell these for nanites, in which case I don't want to crack them open. We need to get a scatter blaster before this is any good to us. Um, so maybe we should work on getting a few exosuit upgrades. Uh, definitely need to do that. And I don't think I grabbed the exosuit upgrade that's at the anomaly either, so that we can also get that one too. And don't I already have one of these unlocked that we just need to fly to? Yeah, I do. Okay. So I'll tell you what we're going to do then. Let's um, let's head up to the station. Technology we'll get those going. And um, I'm just trying to decide if I want to do this one more time. Let's go of. Nope, didn't like it. We should have done carapace. Entity. Nope, let's try and. Nope, let's try spawn. There we go. Now, what are we gonna get? Uh, search construction database. Base. Base lighting plans. Oh, nice. We get lights. Okay. 
I know this is one of the things we could have spent salvage technology on. Okay, search archives. 4920, working fast. The fading sun set up camp in the foothills. Hardly luxury, but it keeps out the cold and I'll be gone by morning anyway. Perhaps some other traveler will shelter here one day. Okay, beginning defragmentation of the next thing. Um. Okay, how bright are these lights? I'd like to know. A white light. Let's just put that right here. Oh, we need sodium. Okay, we'll run some wire wiring to that. It looks like. So we're going here. All right, that's better than that other light. I suppose if you put enough of those around the base, um, it would light stuff up okay. I know the wiring's a little crooked, but I'm not to worry about that right now. Uh, all right, what does this say? If we go back to here. So it just wants us to keep interacting with with this. I'm just running out of room is all. All right, let me see if I can put some of this stuff back. Yeah, okay, I'm just going to kind of keep spamming this and see what else we get here. Saw another one of them today on the space station. They looked at me like I wasn't there, stared right through. It was was just a geck when I returned. Imagining things? Search construction database. Appearance modifier. Okay. Not particularly care about that, but whatever. Okay, so let's see, where are we at with this now? It doesn't tell us here. Oh, it looks like that's all we can do. No, I don't want to rename the base. Okay. Yeah, I think... Um, oh, we have to construct the appearance modifier to continue this quest line. Okay. I guess that wanted fair, right? Um, I guess we can put that over here in this corner. Appearance modifier. Okay, we have to power it, but. There we go. Search computer base archives. Okay, stupid. Hey, that worked. <laughs> what do you know? Okay. Search archives. Thought I had hours to, but the daylight is already fading. The sun is slipping. Light barely penetrates the thick rings looping endlessly around the kazugat. I need to hurry. Blueprints. Technology extracted. Downloading plans. A Romer Geobay. Oh! Oh, cool! That's the thing that gives us the Exocraft. Oh, neat. Okay. I was thinking about trying those out anyways. Um, construct the Romer Geobay. Okay, well, now we have a reason to. So... We need to make a metal plating, and we need 50 paraffinium. Okay. 
We can do that. We have a full stack of periphenium right there. Okay, so now I guess we gotta figure out where we're gonna put this thing. Um, we don't have a whole lot of land area on our little place here. And I don't, I don't want to mess these trees up. Can we... Well, okay, let's see how big it is. Can we put it, like, right out on this little point here? If we're going to do that, we might as well get these resources out of the way. I guess those... harvestable all right now if we go here and here oh we <laughs> we ruined the tree check it out We're ruining more trees. Oh, this is cool. It's got a, like a... Does it have a mining laser? How come it's not working? Oh, I bet you we have to ins install it. Fusion engine, extra craft boost. Wow, this thing's got a lot of storage in it. Yeah, we'll run over that plant. It just, <laughs> it just plows through everything. Oh, nifty. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to, um, we're going to have to get some, oh, don't hit the trees. Oh, dang it. I'm ruining my trees, you guys. <laughs> Crap. Um, we're going to have to uh, get some of the upgrades for this then. So I guess I park it up here to recharge it. Easy, 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 easy. Can I also just call it back up here? Summon Roamer Extra Craft. What's that do? Modify. Okay, here. Yeah, that just puts it back up there. Wow, that was cool. Okay, so we got an Extra Craft. Oh, we can change the colors of it. Primary color. Let's go black and blue. No, actually, let's go black and yellow. I like that. Save changes, yeah. That's cool, man. Okay. Well, we got, a, we got an extra craft. We'll have to put some modifications on it and check it out. I'm, I've totally screwed up my trees, though. <laughs> oh, well, it is what it is. Okay, let's check the base computer now. More encrypted. Units. There we go. That was the one I wanted. 98%. So I, I'm assuming when we hit 100%, then we'll, we're done with all this free stuff. Search archives. Time has come. Move on. Something is calling me. I can, on my Starship communicator, plotting route to center. Log lost. Construction logs recovered. Blueprints reassembled and prepared for download. Search construction database. Got another exosuit. Personal upgrade module synthesized from data something or other. Leave. And we just got another one of those. Okay. So, yeah, those... I mean, we'll get 560 nanites from them. And the base computer archives... It's still not done? Okay. I mean, we might as well keep doing this if it's going to give us free stuff. Oh, well, wait a minute. Hold on. Archives available. Okay. I thought you had to wait before you could keep doing this. They must have changed that. Possible remote terminals backup. Download coordinates. Alright, what's that going to do? Interstellar coordinates acquired. Base computer is located in an off-world archive 
Locate the archive on the galaxy map. Oh, on the galaxy map? Uh, I guess I have to be in the ship to access that. Um, okay. Well, I'm not, uh, necessarily ready to go abandoned building do that yet. Visit remote archive terminal. Okay, well, I think what we'll do then is let's go ahead and put this on hold for now. Um, speaking of which, too... Oh, I guess I've already uploaded all this stuff. Yeah, okay. Well, these haven't been uploaded. Okay. Let's get all this uploaded. We'll get some more nanites. But, yeah, we have uh, scanned all of the fauna on our current planet. And maybe all of the rest of this, too. Did we... Here, let's go back up for a second. There we go. Okay, so that takes care of the flora, 23 varieties and minerals. Let's upload these. Okay, nice. That gives us some, some more nanites there. 111 in total. Not too bad. And all of these waypoints we can... Don't we turn these in, though, at the anomaly? I don't know. Maybe we, we can do it either or and we get the same amount of stuff. I'm not sure. Uh, but let's let's actually wait till we get to the anomaly to look at that. Speaking of which, I think it's time for us to head up to the anomaly. Um, and we got to get a few things, including some more storage. Also, want to get the larger refiners too. Um, okay, so oh, we could <laughs> we could store stuff in our roamer. Um, I mean, we actually could store stuff in our roamer. Interesting. Okay, well, here, let's put that in there. And we can put another load of metal in here. And let's put... Some of this stuff back in here so we have some room here you know what maybe i'll do that i think i'm gonna exosuit let's store some stuff in the roamer uh, these we're gonna sell put the rest of this in the roamer for now uh, we got another uh, exosuit upgrade chart that we can do too and uh Guess we'll keep that with us. This we have to wait until we get a scatter blaster. Um, so let's put that in the roamer. These we'll take with us to sell. Uh, these guys, if we break them open, uh, we get these kind of specialized minerals, like this kind of stuff. And some of these things are worth a lot of money. Like this guy, 150,000 units uh, for that. Oh, I was also going to do something else too. Let's grab this. And let's also go to here and grab these. I got these stuff, uh, this stuff when we were out and about wandering around. And let's just see what what's in those. Okay, so extract components. Sentinel weapons shard.
Okay. Oh, nice. Hydraulic wiring. Okay. And I guess we didn't get anything out of that. Huh. Okay. We have one space there. So let's install this. And what does that do? It gives us 1% damage and 50% less reload time. Okay. I guess that's somewhat useful. Uh, all right, what's this? Open. That is a repair kit. Okay, that's useful. That, we apparently didn't get anything. This is a cyclotron module, which I think is a starship weapon. Worth 384 nanites. Okay. We might end up just selling that. This, I suppose, we could keep. And then the hydraulic wiring uh, we want to hang on to, because we'll I'm sure we'll need that to make some kind of component. But yeah, obviously... We got we <laughs> we totally need more space here. Alright. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Did we get another chart? Oh we did. Okay, cool. So we actually got another chart from one of those things. That's handy. Alright. Well, I'll tell you what let's actually do then. Um We have two charts here, plus we have one that I've already uncovered. So why don't we do this? Let's grab some sodium nitrate. Let's grab some carbon. And uh, some ferrite. Because we're going to need to make antimatter chambers, nanotubes, and sodium nitrate to unlock those things. And what do the, these require? Oh, and oxygen. Okay, so let's grab some oxygen too. And before we go up to the anomaly, let's go ahead and expand some suit slots. All right. And then we'll go up to the anomaly and we'll start purchasing some more stuff with the salvage data. And then once I make the purchases that I want, um, hopefully we'll have quite a bit left over to sell. And then maybe we can afford that Class A multi-tool that uh, is back at our original uh, base that we did for the quest. Because we've got to get that multi-tool upgrade. We just don't have enough slots in it anymore. Okay. Let's make a... Nano tube and an antimatter thingamadoodle. Repair that, repair that, repair that. Okay, we're gonna add some tech slots to our suit. We'll add a, a few tech slots and we'll add a couple more cargo slots too. Let's do this. Oh well, okay, we'll do this too. Corvax casing. Get some more uh, data. If we don't have enough um, uh, salvage parts left over to make the money that we need to get that multi-tool, I have a plan B. And we might do the plan B anyways. Uh, but essentially, plan B involves getting a whole bunch of distress signal charts and looking for... Um, abandoned ships and selling them because you can make pretty decent money doing that. Uh, apparently that's one of the better ways to make money now in uh, Waypoint here. Oops. Let's grab this sodium nitrate. Okay. Alright, let's uh, do our next chart here.
Okay. Uh, we'll add another slot up here. Get this. see anything else here to do but let's grab these this condensed carbon all right good enough <coughs> and we'll find the third suit upgrade One more technology. Uh, we got a turbo slot there too, which is great. And then uh, the one we'll get off the anomaly will uh, we'll do a cargo upgrade. A minor settlement. I suppose we could go check that out real quick and see if it's got a decent multi-tool. I also found whatever that building is that was off to the left when I was out, out and about doing stuff off camera too, so we can go check that out at some point. see this looks like um one that we did we did before what is this advanced beam amplifier okay well it's got a lot more slots um but doesn't do as much damage as ours it's probably just because we've got all these modules and stuff on ours but nah, I don't think I want to mess with a class C. E. If we're gonna do it at all, we're gonna we're gonna go for the class A. Uh, let's talk to this guy. We've learned quite a few a few Corvax words. Um, when we were you know from knowledge stones when I was out and about too. Okay, the life form makes a scan of my head and the, and the display results on their data pad. They point ex excitedly at my brain and then look at me expectantly. I lower my visor, a sharp metal needle emerges from the palm of the life form's hand. It moves so fast that is in and out of my forehead before I can blink. The procedure was surprisingly painless. Scientist entity Vuska thanks me for the donation and hands me an upgrade module in compensation for the loss of my brain tissue. Okay, well, we got some s <laughs> critical damage. <laughs> oh, yeah, we did. We got hurt, didn't we? Uh, well, we got some standing with the Corvax and the Class C module. Um, a moderate upgrade to hyperdrive, hyperdrive, warp drive, uh, efficiency, and jump distance. Okay. Um, let's see here. I mean, sure, why not? It's not. It's only worth 60 nanites anyway. So let's put that there. Okay, so that just increases our range by 50 light years. Okay, that's cool. We can do that. All right, so that thing sucks. Um, let's grab some nanites from here and some money from here. Okay. 
and then we had a yeah we have a machinery thing out here grab the goop off of there and see what we get nor nanites we'll take them check inside these buildings more nanites see anything in here. Alright, let's go. To the anomaly. What I'm, what I'm actually going to do is... Let's go get near the space station and then we'll call the anomaly over next to it. Looks like it's already pretty close to it. Uh, no, actually, we don't want to go on the space station. Let's go down here first and get a few more nanites by talking to these dudes down here. data okay and what do we get for that nice 220 nanites that doesn't suck this is the one we give our milestones to transmit milestone data what do we get out of that deal 200 nanites um we we found us I think we found a storm crystal, didn't we? Maybe we didn't. I don't know. Uh, but if we get one, we should bring it up here and, and give it to her and see what happens. Egg sequencer? What does that do? Huh. I've never messed with that. That might be fun to try and experiment with at some point. So we got ourselves a few more nanites, so let's go here. Um, oh, we just got another milestone. Well, what the heck, let's go get some more nanites. We've met 45 aliens. Hey, we just got a milestone, what the heck? takes a few moments for it to kick in or something. I don't know. Alrighty. So, first thing we're going to do is go over here and we, whoop, we're going to get ourselves another exosuit upgrade. <coughs> and let's put this one in storage. So let's get this corner down here. We do have to pay for that too. So that we're up to 35000 on that. Okay. Now, I want to go here first. And I want to go here, and I want to unlock another storage container. Okay, we got that done. Whoops. And we'll hold off on these other ones for now. now let's go over to here. I want to unlock this because we need to light up our base. And I, if you put these on, I heard it lights it up. At least in the daytime, it will. I'm not interested in any of that for the moment. Um, we might, we'll mess with some of this later, maybe more when we get, like, our permanent base. We unlock those lights, that's all deco stuff. Um, I'd like to try out the, the mech guy, the Minotaur. And it was nice that we got this, because now we don't have to spend points on it. Well, I'll tell you what, let's hold off on that, but it, it is, that's on the list of things to do. It is definitely on the list of things to do. What I really want is the medium refiner and the large refiner. 
and the nutrient uh, processor. So we can gather stuff and make food products, and then we can either eat them or we can bring them up. I think this is up to this that chef guy for nanites. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. This is all for animal stuff. We'll mess with that later. Um, oxygen harvester. That might be interesting. Let's learn that too. And, oh, and the autonomous mining unit. I want to try that out. Atmosphere harvester. Compressed gas. Yeah, let's hold off on that. Whoops. I didn't mean to close that quite yet. Having a trade terminal would be kind of nice. Not necessarily essential at this point, though. So, yeah, I think that's all we're going to do with that. Um, all right, let's go talk to the exosuit person. And I want to look here again for a second. Oh, yeah, I wanted to get this... Um, this onboard refiner. So I heard it's very useful to have. This thing right here. So let's get that. All right, anything else here that we're interested in? We got the shield lattice. Wouldn't be a bad idea to have the aeration membrane. We, we've got quite a few nanites left that we can spend here. So uh, I'd also like this oxygen rerouter so that our life support doesn't go down as quickly. Um, so let's buy that. And then uh, I think I'm going to get the aeration membrane as well. Okay, that's all we need from her. Now, Starship. Okay, so for here, I want to get the positron injector. That's the shotgun, because we have that module for it. And... We might get this too, but I kind of want to see what that other module we have does first. So let's hold off on that. Unless this, I bet you this would stack with the other module. Yeah, what the heck, let's just do it. Okay, so that's it for Starship stuff. Now, um, we're gonna look at the exosuit guy, but let's, we have to check this, right? Yeah, this is a class C. It has 17 more slots than ours. But again, I want to I want to just go straight to that that class A that we have marked in the other system. Okay, let's look at this guy again. Now I want to get the scatter blaster from him, and then I also want to get the shell greaser plus reload time. The plasma launcher is supposed to be pretty good too. And I think, don't we have a black market module for that? Mm, not sure. This allows us to reload more quickly. Yeah, let's get it. We've got a bunch of nanites. We've, we've really done good with those. I know they're not gonna last forever but let's I, I want to get this too this is supposed to be a pretty good weapon and paralysis mortar or ge geology cannon yeah I think we'll we'll hold off on that okay now the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to get this survey device because we need that to find um like those high energy places and and mineral mining sites 
as opposed to ore mining sites, that kind of thing. Uh, that's not the right terminology, but that's the idea. Uh, so let's get the survey device. Okay. And I think that's all we're going to do for now. One percent damage to stunned enemies. Okay. No. Nope. Yeah, we're good there. Okay. Now let's go talk to you. So for the exocraft, um, mining laser. Yeah, we want a mining laser. Okay, and then what does this do? That gives us more power and a hundred percent, a hundred percent what? hundred percent something. Like yield? Maybe? What's that do? That's a mounted cannon. Okay, that might be useful too. Um. A minotaur lay. Oh, that's if we get the. Okay, if that's if we get the mech. We're gonna need that. Gotcha. Okay. Let's see, we're we're sitting at twenty-two fifty there. All right. Yeah. Let's get this. And then. Whoops. That's not what I meant to do. What else might we want to get? I know you have to have these in hazardous environments, but we're not in a hazardous environment at the moment. High power sonar. Oh, okay, that's for the nod the Nautilus, the submarine thing, which we might mess around with later. What does this do? Exocraft scan equipment. I think this scans like nearby uh, points of interest or something, right? That's a boost module. Icarus fuel system. Solar recharging. Oh, that's nice. Automatic engine recharging during the day. Environment control unit. Renders the minute. Oh, that's for a minute. Okay, so this is all Minotaur stuff. Gotcha. Okay. Um... Yeah, I mean, that just 100% scan, and okay, so that, this is the scanner, and then this increases the range of the scanner. I, that seems really useful to me. So I think we're going to do that. If we're going to go big, we might as well go big, right? Yeah, we'll get the we'll get the big ones. All right, now the other thing we might be interested in is this fuel system and the boosters. Wait a minute, though, doesn't it already come with a boost module? that do? Oh, that, again, that's for Minotaur. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. I just want to... I've never messed with the Exocrafts in this game. They were fairly new the last time I played. And so, yeah, I want to re really get into them and experience them. Okay, so that... Um, we spent quite a bit of nanites on that, but we got some good stuff, too. Um, so, and we still have a mess of salvage data left also. What I'm thinking we, sh we might do is just sell the rest of this salvage data so that we can get that, that tool upgrade. We're sitting at 1.6, almost 1.7 million right now. 
Um, so let's run over to... Oh my goodness, we're like so out of time in this episode. <laughs> All right, let's let's just run over to the space station really quick. I tell you what, you know, I I enjoy just kind of chilling and going after that salvage data. It, it was it was fun. So, you know, if we sell it all, we'll I'll just have another salvaging session, especially with the exocraft. Um, you know, later on, and just get another batch of it off camera. Because right now, we really desperately need to upgrade our multi-tool. Oh, hey, there's one of these guys. A traveler. Let's talk to this. I approached the lost traveler. Their skin is translucent as if they were not truly there. Witness. The life form dons a mask of undulating nanite clusters, and for a moment, their face appears to become my own. I see myself looking at myself. Okay? I'm going to die. I'm sure of it. Race of life. If I choose this, do I, do I actually die? Um, let's let's give him a hug. I embrace the life form, but it is myself I embrace. The mask withers, peeling from my face like flesh. I am myself again, but the life form is saddened. They offer me pity. Really? What the hell, man? Um. Ask where they came from, a hundred nanites. Ask where they came from. Okay, um, sure. We'll ask them where they came from. Anonymous subspace signal. Okay. Well, we got another point of interest out of the deal. I really should talk to these guys too, because I think they can give us. Uh, they can give us stuff too. But here, let's go here. And we want to go to sell. And we are going to sell all of our salvage data. Oh, did he, are you not going to buy my salvage data? What the heck, man? Oh. That's because it's in my 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 ship. Never mind. Switch starship inventory. There we go. Yeah, we'll make 5.2 million um, selling all this. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. And again, I'll very much enjoy going out and having another session where we get more of this later. But this is gonna allow us to go get that multi-tool. Fantastic. Get some encrypted data. All right, so now if we go back to here, now watch. We went to all the, this trouble and expense to get this thing, and then I'm going to jump into a new system and find a better one <laughs> right off the bat. Isn't that the way it goes sometimes? But you know what? Whatever. It's all. It's all fun. Oh, you know what? The other thing, too, is I think we have a... Do we have another uh, suit slot thing here? I thought I had a quest for that. Log. Yeah, right here. And there it is over there. Okay, cool. So we'll get ourselves even yet another slot. Um, let's go into here. And here it is. Class A weapon, Messenger of Harmony. Way more damage potential, a little bit more scanner range, and three times the number of slots. Plus, it's already got some, um, some nice stuff on it. Okay, so what we want to do, though, is... We want to take off everything off of here. Because uh, if we don't do that, I believe we'll lose it. Uh, especially the really valuable stuff like the optical drill and all that. 
Okay, so um, let's. It should have all that stuff already on it. Let's look. So it's got an analysis visor, it's got a scanner, a mining beam, and a bolt caster. Yeah, so it's already got all those things on it. And it even comes with an advanced mining laser. What's this? A, a dazzling lens optics, S-class mining beam upgrade. Wow, that's pretty nice. That's actually really nice. Okay, let's compare and let's exchange. All right, it's done, ladies and gentlemen. We have ourselves a new Class A multi-tool. Significant upgrade from, uh, well, the starter. Well, no, not the starter one, but the one we've been using. Very cool. Okay, so let's put this stuff back in place now. Um, so install. That we want next to... Tell you what let's do let's move the bolt caster down there and then move this next to it okay um i think i want to move the mining beam here into the super slot and then all of these mining upgrade thingies we'll put next to it well let's put the scanner here Okay, and now let's go back to the exosuit. Oh, I forgot to sell these things. Okay. Optical drill package. Okay, install this. And we'll put that there. This is 18% mining speed. This one is just a tiny bit better. But I don't know, do these things stack since they're the same kind of module? I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about that. Okay, what is this? Uh, yeah, that's the terrain manipulator. Uh, so we'll just put that up there. Um, this is the... Thing that gives us more money when we scan. This is the... Ah, okay, so... Uh, we can't do that. Cannot install, choose slot. What do I do? Just escape? Yeah, okay. Okay, so yeah, this we can't use because we already have it, so we'll, we'll just sell it for 16 nanites. And the optical drill. We'll put there. 50% resources mine. Okay. Man, that should set us up really good for a, a nice mining tool. Plus, this is in a turbo slot on top of that. Cool. Cool. I'm a liking it, man. I'm a liking it. Okay, let's go back to the exosuit for a second. Um, that is a starship module. These we were gonna sell, and I forgot to. And then what we can do is we can make the scatter blaster, but we're gonna need some wiring looms and some pugnium. I have Pugby in back of the base. I'm not sure if I have that many. And we, ne we need to make this 100% recharge sound. Okay, we can make that for the scanner. And we need to make the plasma launcher. And I also have back at the base uh, a black market module for that. But guys, we are totally out of time. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go... Um, can we sell that? Whoops. Can we sell this stuff to him? 
Purchase components, go sell. Exosuit inventory. C to switch. Oh, it won't let us switch to our ship, but I don't think I want to sell any of that stuff anyway. Okay, never mind. I was going to see if I could sell that extra uh, mining beam module thingy. Okay, whilst we're here, I know we're supposed to be in the episode, huh? <laughs> um, but we might as well go get that other uh, suit upgrade. All right, let's put this down here. I want to start kind of filling out my cargo on the on the suit. Uh, yeah. Very good. All right, we need to recharge this. That is it, ladies and gentlemen, for this episode. So uh, I'm going to work my way back to the base. And um, get the new, uh, the second storage unit in and just kind of get some inventory management stuff done. And then I will bring you guys back in the next episode. We'll ha we have a few more upgrades that we need to install. And then we'll figure out what our next maneuver is. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.